This is the beauty of God, His creation and His handiwork. Let us learn to preserve the nature, preserve our environment. We all know about the impact of the global warming. So, um, this is the only blue planet that we have and we have to preserve it in every way possible. The sustainability of our environment and our um, natural sites, if you may put it like that. For example, this dam, it's so beautiful. And uh, look, yeah, it's the plastic. And it takes years and years and years, and some of them might not um, even uh, degrade. Mm. These plastics are not good for our environment. So let's be careful how we dispose plastic waste. And if we have to do away with plastic, let's do away with plastic. Okay. This is a beautiful nature created by God or a natural habitat created by God. And our responsibility is to um, occupy, dominate and, and preserve it. Replenish. We are to replenish the earth and its resources. Not steal and destroy. Not steal and destroy it. So, um, whoever you are, wherever you are watching from, commit to the preservation of the um, natural resources and the natural habitats because this is the only habitable environment or planet. This is the only habitable planet that we have. And we have to take all the responsibility to preserve it. So um, again, this is a reminder. As you can see, it's so beautiful, the sky, so beautiful, so clear, so blue. In some areas, uh, even here in Africa, um, when you go there, you see the cloud or the sky. It's so polluted with uh, CO2. Let us also um, take responsibility and be responsible um, in that area also. And let's reduce um, the emission of carbon dioxide. I believe that uh, zero CO2 is a possibility in our generation and lifetime. Thank you. God bless you.